everybody doing today? Today, I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Wayne Root, a director with Go Green and the CEO of Vegas Winners. How are you doing today, Wayne? Hey, Rich, how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm very excited to have you on the show. You've been very, very successful in so many different fields, and let's get right into it. You're a former network odds maker, national handicapping champion, NFL analyst for CNBC. They call you America's odds maker and the king of Vegas sports gambling. Why did Vegas winners become affiliated with Go Green Inc.? Well, I, we wanted to go public. It's that simple. We wanted a public vehicle. Go Green was really just a, a vehicle to take us public. It's kind of an empty shell that now is our company. It's, it's kind of Play-Doh that we can mold in our image to do what we want to do. And we've turned it into the ultimate, I think, the ultimate premier sports handicapping, sports advice, sports research analysis, and sports gaming company in the United States of America. That's my goal. That's where we want to take this thing is number one, the United States are providing the information. And then eventually, once we're solidly in that position, number one, globally, uh, adding in, you know, some international sports like soccer, cricket, rugby, uh, Formula One, et cetera, et cetera. But right now, my, uh, my eyes are on the prize. And the prize is the United States of America. Sports gambling has been legalized by a Supreme Court decision in May of 18. And so now it's legal in 22 states, plus the District of Columbia. It's operating physically. I think it's 18 states but it's legal in 22 and there's legislation in place to make it legal in uh, over 40 states in the next, probably in the next 12 months to 16 months to 18 months, you'll see it legal in 40, 44 states, somewhere in that vicinity. And by the way, the reason why Rich is kind of obvious because of COVID and because of the economic shutdowns, everyone's broke. <laughs> Every state is broke. Every municipality is broke. They have no money. They have no sales tax revenue, no income tax revenue, no property tax revenue, no payroll tax revenue. They're desperate to find new avenues of money. So this is all going to go much faster than anyone ever imagined. I mean, I hate COVID. It's terrible. But it did two incredible things for my business. You know, number one is most people don't want to gamble anymore in a casino. They don't want to touch money with their hands. They don't want to be around lots of other people. Online sports gambling is the future of gambling. That was huge. And number two, because the states are broke and desperate for money and they're looking for new sources, they're all eyeing sports gambling. And this is going to happen much quicker, the legalization, than anybody ever imagined. So look, COVID's horrible. COVID's terrible. But there's always winners and losers, no matter what happens in life. I'm sure during World War II, there were winners and losers. During uh, the Spanish flu, there were winners and losers. The winner of the COVID sweepstakes happens to be online gambling and online sports gambling they're both set to explode now gold green inc is just getting started which you mentioned right and some good developments are in the works for example you are just about to file a reg a for five million to expand operations can you please tell us how those funds will be utilized well look uh number one thing in my industry is marketing and sales and promotion and to be honest with you my whole life is marketing and sales and promotion. And my belief in life is to be successful. It's all built around marketing and sales and promotion. And if you don't believe me, take a look at some of the books in the background, including my new one that comes out November 10th. It's called Trump Rules. And I'm friends with the president of the United States. And it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with his politics. If you love him or hate him, it doesn't matter. Everyone's got to admit there's something to be learned from President Donald Trump. I mean, here's a guy that even if you hate his guts, you have to admit he went to number one in the world in real estate, and certainly one of the top, you know, as a billionaire, one of the top in business in general, number one in branding, number one in celebrity brand name recognition, number one in TV producing, uh, Celebrity Apprentice and host of that show, and hundreds of millions came in. And then he became the president of the United States, commander of the military, and leader of the free world. So I think he has a thing or two to teach us. And so I've studied Trump. He's been my mentor since I was literally 18 years old. He's 15 wow. years old to me. He was in his 30s and I got into Columbia University in New York and he was building a skyscraper right around the corner from Columbia. And that's when I noticed the guy and said, I want to be like him. So I've studied the Trump rules, as I call them, for literally 40 years, about 37 years to be exact. And it's really changed my life. And, and the number one rule is promotion, right? Promotion, marketing, sales. And also, I think you'd argue free media. The more media you can get, the less money you have to spend. So anyway, those are my rules in life. And when you ask what we're going to do with a, with a 
uh, fundraise of about $5 million, number one, build the premier sports handicap firm. Number two, brand ourselves in sports television in the United States. I've already uh, got ad campaigns, exclusive and semi-exclusive, where I'm the only one in the country allowed in my industry, or one of two. And uh, they're with the biggest sports networks in America. We just signed, and we haven't even announced it yet, so I can't say the person's name, but someone to be our, our basically our brand spokesman and appear in all the TV ads with me, and he is a household name. And we will star together in the TV commercials. So, you know, really the money goes for branding, marketing, promotion, global expansion. And, and then the number one point of this business is to build the number one database in the world of sports gamblers, because that database will be so valuable to be leased out or to be sold or the company to be sold potentially in the future to a gigantic sports gaming company. We don't take the bets. So anybody who takes the bets has one thing they need, customers. And we're gonna have all the customers. That TV ad campaign with that superstar and me will bring in all the customers that any sports gambling company will ever need. Um, and so we believe we would be a buyout candidate in the future, that's our hope. Uh, just like Penn National just cut a deal. I'm trying to remember the name, I've got it here. Um, oh, Barstool Sports, Dave Portnoy. Barstool Sports really is just a blog, an online video blog. And it puts out videos that are of interest to sports fans and to some extent, sports gamblers. And they built a beautiful blog, one of the best in the world at what they do. And Penn Gaming came along and said, we need customers. You've got all the eyeballs we need. And they bought them uh, one third of Barstool Sports at a, at a value. They valued Barstool at $450 million. And so, you know, I think within two to three years, we're going to have a database that blows away Barstool Sports. Wow. They've just got people watching videos. We're going to have people who check in for research analysis and advice and scores and odds and weather and injuries for sporting events because they are specifically sports gamblers, sports bettors, sports gambling enthusiasts. It is the perfect database for anyone from Wynn to Venetian, Las Vegas Sands, to MGM, to Caesars, to Penn National. We're going to have all the names of all the specific sports gamblers in America in one database. And I think we'll have a very valuable company. Now, I understand that Vegas Winners has quite a bunch of expert handicappers. Can you go through the team with us and what each person brings to the table? Yeah, well, listen, there's no point going through the whole team. I mean, I'll give you the highlighted team because some of them have been on TV with me for many, many years. Back in uh, the early 1990s, that's when my career began. I was in the late 80s. I was the lead anchor man for the network now known as CNBC. In those days, it was called Financial News Network. And I hosted five shows, and all of them were sports gambling related on the weekends. And uh, I left to become the star of a national TV sports gambling show called ProLine. And the stars of that show were Wayne Root, Jim Feist, Chip Chirimbus, and Larry Ness. I've reunited the whole team. All these years later, 30 years later, it's Wayne Root, Jim Feist, Chip Chirimbus, Larry Ness. I've added many other successful sports handicappers, all of whom are champions around the world or around the United States. Uh, just one to give you an example, Big Al McMorty is a University of Michigan Law School graduate. He's an attorney who doesn't practice law anymore. He's full-time professional sports handicapper, and he does it uh, in particular for us. And he's won multiple national handicapping championships. Uh, he is fantastic at what he does. So I've developed this team. If you're going to if you're going to gamble on sports, you need a professional to guide you. Just like if you're going to make a bet, I call it a bet, but you call it an investment on a stock, you'd probably want to hire a stockbroker or a stock analyst or read the research reports of a Merrill Lynch or hire a hedge fund um, or, or, or throw a dart at a mutual fund where someone else does the picking for you. Most people work. They have no time to study stocks all day long. And that's what a professional does on Wall Street, study stocks. So in my business, you have no time to study sports all day long. So we've got a team, a lineup of great professionals, and uh, you will watch their videos and you'll read their articles on, on my website, winningedge.com, and you will decide who's the one that you're most comfortable with, who you like the most, who's the best fit. You'll hire them and you'll get professional advice from them. So if you don't like Wayne Root, you'll probably like Jim Feist or Larry Ness or Chip Jarimbus or Big Al McBordy or Hollis Harvard Barnhart. The list goes on and on. They're all fantastic at what they do. They all have different personalities that might appeal to different groups of people. And so that's what I try to do, a, a real nice lineup 
of people, Rich, who all have a different appeal and a different style of handicapping that someone may appreciate. And so I've covered the whole gamut. I love it. I think it's great. I think what you guys are doing is great. I understand that a lot of states are legalizing online gambling, which we talked about a little bit, which creates a lot of business opportunities for companies. Can you tell us how that brings opportunities to Go Green? Well, the, the, the one big giant opportunity is that everybody who now sees legal sports gambling, because remember, I, w- I was the dominant player in this industry. This is not something new for me. I was the dominant player in sports handicapping for almost 30 years. Dominant. And the proof is that in the whole world, only one guy has a 180-pound granite star in the sidewalk in Las Vegas, on Las Vegas Boulevard, in the Las Vegas Walk of Stars. You have Frank Sinatra, you have Jimmy, uh, Sammy Davis Jr., you have uh, Siegfried Roy, you have Wayne Newton, you have Liberace, and you have Elvis, and then you have the one sports gambler, Wayne Allyn My star is right in front of the Paris Hotel and Casino. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud of that. Very, very great thing. Talk about bragging rights, right? Absolutely. Muhammad Ali said it ain't bragging if you can back it up. And so I've got the star on the sidewalk. You can walk right on my face on the, on the sidewalk in Las Vegas. That's wild. So, man. you know, look, I'm good at what I do. And there's one big giant opportunity out there. As each state legalizes sports gambling, Rich, it's obvious more and more people are then comfortable making a bet. They don't have to bet with a bookmaker. They don't have to bet offshore. They don't have to bet in England. They get to bet in, or in Costa Rica. They get to bet in the United States. And, and they know their money's safe because it's being held by a you know, by a real legitimate company, Win, Caesars, uh, DraftKings, FanDuel, et cetera, et cetera, Penn Gaming. So all those people need someone to give them advice. That's the opportunity to be the Merrill Lynch or the Charles Schwab or the Goldman Sachs or the JP Morgan of the weekend. That's kind of what I call myself. You know, the Charles Schwab of the weekend. Everyone needs Charles Schwab Monday through Friday, but the stock market's closed on weekends. Yes. Guess what's open on weekends? Sports, betting. So, and, and, and I'll tell you what the edge is for us and for, for everyone in the gambling world. If you're going to watch a sporting event, you're going to bet on it. That's the fun. Yes. You're Absolutely. watching a game for three hours, Rich, and you put $100 on it, and it becomes the greatest up and down adrenaline rush you've ever had in your life versus just 100%. watching it. So if you're going to watch it and you're going to have money on it, you might as well pay Wayne Root a, a little fee to get the advice on who has the edge. And that's what we do. Very good. Very good. I think that's a great idea. And as someone who has won and lost on sports betting, I think it makes a huge difference when you have an expert that can say, pick the Cowboys in this game because of this reason, or pick the Jets in this game because of this reason. This player's hurt. This player's hot. You know, you need, like you said, people don't have the time to do all the research. We want to look into the experts, similar to myself. People come to Rich TV Live because they know I do the research for stocks. Right. That's why we're doing this interview today. And, and that goes to the next question. Now, Go Green also has an impressive roster of executives that have joined the team. Can you go through them and how they will help the corporate side of the business? Well, I, I think the number one person to focus on by far is, is not to distract everyone with 20 names. I think my whole team is fabulous. They're all fantastic execs. Many of them have been with me my whole life, my whole adult life in business. But the number one that I'm most proud of who has joined the team is Howard Lefkowitz. And if you look at Howard's background, he's you know just one of the most brilliant high-tech visionaries in the United States of America. He'll serve as our COO, Chief Operating Officer, and CTO, Chief Technical Officer. And Howard's background, home shopping network, and uh, uh, a Major League Baseball team, and uh, Earthlink, and the big one was Vegas.com. I mean, there were 20 of them. Who can remember all of them? But every one of them, he helped to develop their back end of their website that, uh, that is involved in e-commerce. And so as an example with Vegas.com, when he got there, someone else founded the company. He was not the founder, but he was there when there were like five desks and he became the CEO of Vegas.com. And that's how him and I became friends. We were next door neighbors in Las Vegas and he wow. was running Vegas.com. And he took it from those five desks to a $400 million a year business and built the back end and, and turned it into the world's biggest uh, one city travel site. That's saying something. Can you imagine being able to say in your resume on the day you die, I built the world's biggest fill in the blank. doesn't matter what it is. If you built the world's biggest anything, that's a pretty good resume. Howard built it into the biggest, uh, world's biggest one city travel site, $400 million in revenues. We've got him now. He's just a brilliant guy at designing websites, at designing e-commerce, at operating e-commerce and, and making sure customers feel welcome and it's easy to navigate our site 
easy to buy. And then he's in charge of putting the software and all the uh, you know, text-based systems in place that allow us to go after those customers and hit them again and again and again and say, hey, how can we help you more? How can we add on to your experience? Uh, you know, eventually I think we'll get into the hospitality business, meaning uh, we've got all these people that love Las Vegas. We've got all these customers that love to gamble. How about we bring them into Vegas and we have parties, you know, every month involving major league sports stars, the biggest names, biggest quarterbacks in football, the biggest goalies in hockey, the biggest home run hitters in baseball, the biggest slam dunkers in basketball. And we have parties built around, you know, the Indy 500, the Super Bowl, the NBA championships, the NHL finals, the World Series. And while they're in town, we get a piece of the bookings for the hotel they book, the airline they book, the money they gamble in the casino. That's kind of our vision for where this company will go eventually. So I, I think it's real exciting. And I think Howard Leftwich has been my buddy for 20 years, my neighbor for 20 years, uh, and, and a guy who I always thought was a genius. And I said, someday I'm going to start a business that will involve Howard. I'm going to get him on board and make him the genius. You know, I'm the front guy. I'm the guy who does the talking on TV. He's the guy in the back who kind of is the genius who makes it all work. That's, I, I think that's important. You know, you need your guys at the front that do their work. You need the guys in the back to do their work. That's how you have a winning team. And clearly you guys know exactly what you're doing. You guys are putting the right blocks in place. You guys are currently working with prompt.io. Can you go through what they are providing to Go Green Inc.? Yeah, you know, first of all, let me state that uh, Prompt is run by Phil Gordon, who's another one of my great friends. I mean, you know what I am? I'm sure no genius. I'm a, I'm a connections guy, just like Donald Trump. I'm a guy who knows everybody. I try and meet everyone in the world and try to become friends with them. And I never burn a bridge. I'm friends with them for life. And so I met Phil Gordon about 20 years ago. In the year, I would say right around the year 2000. He's one of the best poker players in the world. But a lot of people don't realize he's also a high-tech genius like Howard Lefkowitz. And so I, I think he graduated college at the age of like, I think he got into college at 15 or 16, graduated wow. at 18 from Georgia Tech, started a company, sold it for a fortune and then retired. In his wow. early 20s, he retired and traveled the world and <laughs> went to sporting events all over the world in an RV. And so that was his life. Then he went back into poker and made millions of dollars and became the star of uh, one of the top poker shows on TV that covered poker tournaments. So he's synonymous with poker. And then he built this new company that handles text-based contact of people. Now, I'm not the right guy to describe exactly what they do, but his, his text-based system uh, is really the, the number one of its kind in the world. And it will enable us to be in constant contact with all of our customers in our database. And every time they buy something, we'll know their favorite team might be the Dallas Cowboys. That's mine. You see my cowboy uh, helmet in the background. Uh, I grew up around Roger Staubach, so he's my hero. So, you know, if your team is the Dallas Cowboys, we'll send you information every day about the Cowboys. If your team's the Jets, we'll send you information every day about the Jets. If it's the New York Yankees in baseball, we'll send you information about the Yankees. If you like to bet underdogs, we'll let you know when an, an underdog is kind of uh, a siren's going off and there's a great underdog to look at today uh, from Wayne Alaroot. Uh, no matter what it is you're interested in, we'll have a way of contacting you all the time. And so we've got this system in place with Phil Gordon and his company that will enable us to be very close at all, at all times with our customers. What more can you ask for, right? I mean, that's, that's what business is all about. You know, can you kind of know in advance where you think your customers are headed, what they want to buy, where they want to spend money, and then serve it to them, give it to them on a platter, on a silver platter, 24 hours a day via text on their cell phone. That's what Phil's company does and we've hired him to be our guy. So I think we have an edge that no other company in the gaming industry has. That's incredible. I love what I'm hearing so far. Now we have investors and viewers from all over the world that will be watching this video. If there was one thing you would want them to know and walk away with after this interview, what would it be? You know, I, I think I've already covered it. I mean, but I'm a guy who believes, and you'll see my new book comes out November 10th, Trump Rules. One of my most important rules and one of Trump's most important rules, repetition. You'll notice when he gives a speech, he's one of a kind. You know, first of all, there's no notes. He's talking off the top of his head. He's colorful. You notice I kind of remind you of him. <laughs> I'm a kind of bigger than life New York personality because I've studied him my whole life. And you got to hit the point again and again and again. And, and the point is obvious, is that sports gambling is the, is the new national pastime. It, it, sports isn't. Sports gambling is. If you're going to watch a game, you're going to bet on a game. If you're going to bet on a game, don't you want to win? 
I mean, can you imagine how exciting it is when you're watching a game, Rich, and the, and your team scores a touchdown, and that means you just won five hundred dollars. And and what do you do with that five hundred? You take your wife or your significant other out to dinner tonight to the best restaurant in town, or you buy her a new dress, or you know if you win ten thousand dollars, the down payment on a new car lease. Uh, you know that to me is what sports gambling is all about. It's fun, it's entertaining, and when you win, it's the greatest business in the world. Because I'll tell you what, when I go out to dinner and I spend two hundred dollars on a nice dinner on the strip in Las Vegas, it's great, it's satisfying, but that money's gone forever. The meal I just ate it, the money's gone. I can never get it back. When I buy a suit, I love nice clothes, but the money's gone forever. But when you bet five hundred dollars on a football game and you win, uh, you not only don't lose the five hundred, you didn't spend it. Someone gives you five hundred. You won five hundred. It's an investment. It's the only kind of spending that becomes an investment. It's the only kind of entertainment that pays you to entertain yourself. You watch a game when it's over, you made a thousand dollars. It is the greatest form of entertainment in the world. So wouldn't you rather win than lose? Absolutely. So we're here to help you win. We give you a competitive edge. We give it uh, guidance. We give you research. We give you analysis and we give you the winning edge with winning expert advice about who's going to win and lose against the point spread. Now that it's legal in so many states and becoming more legal and available every day, millions and millions of people will start to gamble on sports when they watch it. Uh, Rich, within a year or two, you won't be able to walk into a stadium anywhere in America and watch a sporting event without a betting kiosk being in front of you, right, right near your row. There'll be hundreds of them inside each stadium and each, side, each, each arena. So you're going to go to the Bulls game and you're going to bet on the Chicago Bulls or bet against the Chicago Bulls. So don't you want Wayne's advice before you make that bet? That's what Vegas winners is all about. And if you believe what I'm saying is true, and I know it's kind of hard not to believe it's true because I, I did it for 30 years when it was illegal in 49 states. Now that it's going to be legal, this thing is going to explode. If you agree that it's exciting, it's going to explode, then you want to get in on VegasWinners.com on the ground floor. That's the message. Simple as that. Now, if someone is looking at this interview, watching this video from all over the world, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you if they want to invest, if they're interested in doing a joint venture, if they're interested in getting contact with the company about a potential deal, how do they do that? Well, you know, I've got a nationally syndicated radio show, uh, not about sports, but about politics. And I give out my email on that show every day and I get over 2000 emails a week from my fans and they love to stay connected with me. And I'll do the exact same thing here. I love to stay connected with my fans, my friends, and in this case, even better, my investors. So if you're interested in anything I've got to say, just contact me, email me, wayneroot at gmail.com. Wayne, W-A-Y-N-E, root, R-O-O-T, like tree root, wayneroot at gmail.com. It's that simple. And so there's always a way to contact me or you could do it through the website, vegaswinners.com. Simple story. That's perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Wayne. We're going to be watching your story and Go Green Evolve. Congratulations on all your success. Hopefully everything works out well for you in the elections too with Mr. Trump. We'll be watching very, very closely and very, very carefully. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully as Go Green evolves and has big news, you can join us again here on Rich TV Live. We'd love to follow your story and I know our investors will be watching very carefully and very closely. Thank you for joining us, Wayne. This is your host, Rich, from Rich to be Live, saying thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a great day, Wayne. Thanks, Rich. I'll join you again. You can bet on it. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, Wayne.